Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you're doing good, hope you're doing well. How's this for a summer signing? Completely out of the blue, Yasser Larousi in the deep depths of French football in Ligue 1 with, uh, with Troyes, who got relegated to Ligue 2 this season, so he was going to be in the French second division. Now, finds himself in the Premier League because Yasser Larousi has signed for Sheffield United Premier League club, newly promoted. This is huge. This is huge on many levels. It's another Algerian player in the Premier League. Now, I don't want to hear, oh, but he's playing for France and all this rubbish. Listen, he's very much part of the Algerian furniture. I don't think he's going to play for the French youth teams again. And according to L'Equipe, the, the French newspaper publication, Larousse, as well as Gori, will be the two players leaving the French under-21s and joining up with the Algerian team come September, uh, inshallah. So... This is huge, 22 years of age, um, young player. The way I see it, the left back in the AFCON, assuming everyone's fit and healthy, will be Ryan Aitnori. And um, the backup now, with LaRussi getting that move, he really has put himself in prime position to be the backup ahead of, uh, of Joe and Hadjem, who plays for Nantes. So really interesting to see the battle between uh, LaRussi and Hadjem to be backup left back and start a left back if there is a problem or an issue to Ryan Aitnori. I don't think Remy Bensabaini, even if he plays um, as a left-back with Dortmund now, he's very much part of the centre-half setup. I think, with Algeria now. That's the way Belamadi, um seems to be portraying his position. We saw that in the last international break. So, Hadjim and LaRussi fighting it out. Now, we don't know if Sheffield United are going to play that back five. They played it the last time they were in the Premier League under Chris Wilder. He'd be much more suited, I think, as a left wing back. And that's the way I think they're going to go. I think they might have the three centre-halves again. The right wing back and the left wing back. Um, so that's a position that favours LaRussi. Because he did, of course, used to be a left winger way back um, at the start of his career. Of course, he was at Liverpool. Stephen Gerrard, funnily enough, brought him to Liverpool. Uh, born in Algeria, born in Elwed. And won the FA Youth Cup with Liverpool against Man City. Some great players in that final. If you look back at the team, I think. Jeremy Fringpong played in it, like all sorts of good players. Um, so yeah, so LaRussi back in the Prem. I think he played for Liverpool in the Cups. I don't know if he actually got any game time in the Premier League. So potentially another Algerian Premier League player on the horizon. I think he'll be very, very good going forward. Um, like I said, as an ex-winger, that's what you expect. It's defensively, LaRussi is going to be seriously tested. That's where we're going to find out just how good he is. So let's see how good Yasser Larousi is in the Premier League. And if he is up to this level, and of course a player born in Algeria, very easy to get to play for the Algerian national team, this would be a fantastic um, selection for the national team. And with eight Nori linked to Nice, it will be one Algerian left back out of the Premier League and one into the Premier League. Sheffield United, um, have they got Arab ownership? Because their other signing was the Tunisian international and it's Ben Slimane. So... Clearly, there's um, a bit of North African scouting going on there. I think it's a good deal. Obviously, with LaRussi getting relegated, it was a bargain. They have loaned him with an option to buy. So, assuming that Sheffield United went down and um, Tua came back up again, you could see him staying there. Uh, they've got an option to buy. Let's see if they exercise it. I think they're well, should, should they stay up? And if LaRussi has an impressive season... Um, so the manager, Heckingbottom, he said, we're pleased and for a number of reasons. It's a position that we knew we needed someone and be able to get someone like Yasser in, who we think has the qualities and the attributes uh, to add to how we want to play. So looking like a back five and he's going to be left wing back. He's a very front-footed player. He's quick and loves to break forward from defensive positions, which again is how we want to play. Uh, he's played wing back at his last club, implying a back three and a back five. But he's interestingly said he's also been comfortable in a back four as well. We're really pleased to get this one done, and it's on the cheap with a loan. And LaRussi himself is looking forward to it, saying to play for Sheffield United and play in the Premier League, I think this is a good project for me. I'm happy, and we talked about the team, the project here, and the formation, and I think that will suit my game. I know a few players here, like Rian, that's Rian Brewster, who was at Liverpool's youth team, and uh, Illiman, who is, of course, uh, in Daye, who's an international with Senegal. He'll go to AFCON as well. So that'll be good to see them again and to work with them. I can't wait to play. Hopefully I can play a part in some of the friendly games and I'll have time to show what I can do on the pitch. It's a chance for me to adapt with a team and everything else. And he's straight on the plane in pre-season with them in Portugal. I think the Blades fans will be very, very happy with this signing. I think Ben Slimane is also a good signing. Um, they had a great season last time when they just came up. I think it was the COVID season. They got in the top half. 
it's going to be tough. It's a very competitive Premier League with the money going around, but Sheffield United know what they're doing. They've got some good players, and hopefully Larusi can help keep them in the Premier League. So probably one of the best Algerian signings of the summer. It's come from nowhere, really. Good scouting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. See you next time.